Smarty. <laughs> so emotional. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's okay. Oh my god. Good call. Keep the tissues close. So yeah, you go. You take okay. it away. Yeah, okay. Welcome back to Spoonsville. We're covering the farewell. <laughs> Netflix movie. Well, it's not a Netflix movie. Not a Netflix original. I don't think. I no. think it's just on Netflix. Yeah. 2019, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it is 20? a 2019, yeah. Okay. I wish I could just sit with my knees up like this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I really liked it. I never try, I try not to talk to you, talk for you, but I really liked it. I think we both really liked it. Yeah, we yeah. did. The movie, in the movie is that um, the grandmother, This yeah. is it's a Chinese immigrant family that's yeah. living in America and the gr the grandmother who's living in China uh, apparently has cancer and so the family decides that they shouldn't tell the grandmother mm -hmm. about the cancer which is customary to do apparently mm -hmm. in China well at least probably within certain cultures in China I don't know if that is prevalent all over mm -hmm. but they don't decide the family decides not to tell the grandmother and then they just throw a wedding really it's just for the family to come together they need to an excuse for the family to come together and for everybody who's living outside of China to go there and for everybody who knows her to basically say their last goodbyes without actually saying right. their last goodbyes the younger people um to have a mock wedding yeah they have a mock wedding so they have a mock wedding uh where so that to, as an excuse to have people to come together yeah. and then the grandmother yeah. doesn't know the whole time yeah so Billy is the main character. Yeah. Yeah, and she played by Aquafina. Yeah, and she grew up in America, and well, she, they moved when she was really young, like yeah. two, I think. And yeah. so she's very, very much Americanized. Yeah. 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 And yeah, so they tell her that the grandmother is yeah. sick. They're gonna go, they, and they don't want her to go. They don't want her to go because she's super emotional and yeah. can't hold her feelings to, uh, back, and yeah. they're worried that she, she's gonna basically blow everybody's cover. Yeah. And so they didn't want the parents yeah. to go without her, but then she ends up going afterwards. Yeah. And um, maybe it's also because she wasn't as tied culturally to that that culture in, in China of not telling elderly people of their sickness. So when she's there, she's bringing it up. They're getting a massage. Other times she's like, so are we really, like, we're really not going to tell the grandmother about her cancer? And then, then you know, so so she all they they I think they also knew that she'd have the moral quandaries, the struggles, yeah. as well as struggling emotionally. They just they also knew that I think she would just struggle more with that dilemma. Yeah, yeah. because she is obviously she's a split between two cultures, so yeah. there is that, and so it was really hard for her. She wanted them to tell her, yeah. but the family didn't want to. Yeah. Um, but I don't it just, know. It was just a really I don't know. There was a lot of soul in that movie. Oh man, there. I love this movie so yeah. much. I we watched it last night. Yeah. And I'm still crying. Yeah. Um just thinking about it. I was making notes. What, what I, I like that, making notes. What was it that you were thinking about that was getting you back? I know it was something for me that really sticks out that I love when movies do this that separates I find great movies from good or mediocre movies. Uh we tried to watch one earlier at some point yesterday too, I think. And it was felt, felt very lifeless and just uninspired. And then this movie, The Farewell, there's these great, not even montage, but great scenes where they, they there's a lot of great dialogue and a lot of character scenes. And then they'll have a scene that's just music, yeah. you know, and the music's great. But it's like, I don't know, it's not even, it's, it's movie to love, it's not even original, it's like classical music. But there's a scene where, for instance, they get a call, I think, that, so the family has to rush to find to see the grandmother. Like maybe it was a call from the hospital and then they're not really sure which way to go and there's some great music layering what's going on in the scene and I like it's just I don't know it's yeah. it for me it's those little touches I think that doesn't take a lot they're just why don't we put some music as well it's not like the, there's no audio there's you can hear the the characters running around but they just let's put some music in here just to intersperse it in an interesting way I think and that to me shows just a little bit of really wanting to make this something special at least for the people working on it for me that's a big that's a big thing for me the whole movie obviously is um it's centered around someone uh, the grandmother nai nai uh her passing possibly she has mm -hmm. cancer and she's gonna die she has three months as far as everybody knows and it was really hard for me to see that because it's 
there was of course so much pain um and very well depicted by the act the actors mm -hmm. oh my god yeah. the acting was fantastic yeah. there was just so much pain and everybody was just uh, trying to cover it all with the smiles and humor mm -hmm. and it it was just no matter how hard they tried it was really just it was just tough and the, obviously Billy struggled a lot with that. And the dad actually struggled with that too. Because the mother, the grandmother used to, uh, kept pointing it out. You know, something's wrong with, yeah. with Billy and, and the dad, right? Yeah. I think I was just really sad for everyone. Yeah. To know that someone who you love. When you, I, I think that must be, that, that's obviously a hard thing to know that someone you love. Yeah. Is going to die soon yeah you know and we all know we're gonna die but if you have if someone's if you know that okay there's there's a finite time yeah. <laughs> time within which this person's gonna not be here anymore yeah then it, it gets harder yeah. and I um I think it gets even harder because when you do know that you just want to say everything that's mm -hmm. in your heart yeah all the things that you feel for them, the regrets you might have, you want to yeah. air them all out. But because everybody was pretending that they were there for the, for a wedding, yeah, they weren't able to actually just let these things, their feelings out, yeah. and express themselves in the way that they want they would want to. Yeah. One of the things that I really love about the movie uh, is that is how well it depicts um minorities as well as minor and, and and immigrants and how you live between two different cultures or two different cultures live within you and how difficult that can be i um and i think the movie throughout the movie that was so well depicted and i think even if you move to a um to a, one country at a very young age if you ever and and even if i think even if you you never lived in your own country you still have this connection to to the place that you even if even though you don't have anything tangible to give or to to that draws you back to to your your country of origin um and so the movie for me did that so well Things like when Billy was talking to the mom at the end about how hard it was for her and how she felt that the parents didn't explain or help her transition to America well enough and also have to help her trans to support her through the transition from leaving from living in China and then living in America. That was, I think a lot of uh, immigrants could identify with that. I think the thing that people don't really realize is that especially for people who are very visibly if you move to a place like the US where the, the dominant culture um, is well people of European descent right and you come here you move to the US and you're uh, a migrant right or you look like you're Asian right and so that's outwardly you are automatically different and there is you'll always get questions a lot of the times you'll get questions like where are you originally from? And so even though you are very much American, you could have been born in America, but you're never fully allowed to be an American mm -hmm. because of that. And you always have to grapple with these with those two identities. But for you, it's even harder because your parents don't expect that you are going through these things because they don't actually, a lot of the time, have that same experience. Right. So you go through that alone without anybody actually having uh, helping you process the emotions of, of moving between these two um cultures and and every single day shifting between those two cultures when you go home especially for immigrant parents who didn't grow up there you go home and you're a different person and you go and you're out there uh with your friends you're a different person but you never really feel like you fit in because there are just certain things that you um you go through that they don't and i really like billy right and i and i like her a lot because in this entire movie was it it represented so many things that happened within um, minority families or their experiences it represented them so very well because billy is 
you know, because she grew up in the U.S., she's more Americanized than everybody. And there's this expectation that by the, the people, um, her, by her family, that she's going to be more aligned with the U.S. and she's going to live much more, her live her life much more according to American culture. But as much as she doesn't agree with what the family is doing in terms of keeping the secret, she's also um, respectful of her own culture and, and doesn't end up doing that. She never goes against the family and tells the grandmother. And for me, that was really accurate uh, because I think I've seen a lot of movies where they depict minorities where um, or immigrants or kids who immigrant kids who grew up in the U.S. and they depict them as though, oh, well, they're so Americanized, they totally do not live by their culture anymore. That is very much more further from the truth than the reality. If you are an immigrant child out there, you're living like everybody else, but in the house, you're not living. It's it's very hard to do, to mm -hmm. live like, you know, how other people, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think they just did that so, so well. Every single thing was just really beautifully done. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of great scenes. Uh, the one where Billy first uh, visits her parents' home at the beginning, um, before she hears the news that her grandmother has got cancer, and the mother, you know, is, is judging her on things. And then she's like, you know, if, if you're going to just give me a uh, guff uh, every time, I, you know, I'm not going to come over. You know, which is a very relatable thing. It's kind of that weird, what, why, you know, why do you do this? When, shouldn't you just be happy that I'm here? Why, why is the first initial thing to be getting in my business and, yeah. and judging me, you know? Probably because she feels judged a lot herself because just a lot of people have that self-judgment. And then when someone comes in, they can kind of, that's what they've been doing the whole time they were alone cutting vegetables. So when their kid comes in, they can just kind of do the same thing on them or something. Yeah. But it was just a relatable scene. I liked when they were playing the game at the wedding and it was just shot well and everything. It was just cool how they 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 spin around so they have the, the thing and then they kind of pass it on to someone else. And if the person misses their cue, then they have to drink. And it yeah. was really just the, the husband yeah. who kept screwing up. But it was just a fun scene mixed in with all the... Yeah, yeah it was just everything beautifully was done. beautifully done. I, I, I just really... Great find. Uh, great, I would yeah. give it a 10. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Yeah. I think anybody who wants to get some insight into what it's like to be an immigrant yeah. i think that would be the best movie ever yeah. especially when you come from a collectivist society which this represented that yeah. so well so many things about collectivism that that movie represents like the good and the bad it 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 does that really nicely because every single culture uh individualistic cultures too there's good and bad and i think part of the hardships of being from a collective collectivist society is that you're not your own person you are an extension of your family and and so whatever you do it feels like there's more pressure there's always a lot a lot more pressure because you know that what you do goes back to how people view your family and and so you see those little things like okay well are you still playing the piano billy or oh are, well, are you making money over there in america where I, that's the end yeah. you, of course, sure billy is making a whole lot of money yeah. in the u.s right that's why the u.s is so great right. <laughs> what did we say battery died what did we say <laughs> I forget. <laughs> Good points were made. Lost um, forever. Lost forever. In the annals of time. Yeah. In collectivist societies, you are an extension of your family. Yeah, and so everybody has a say in what you do, and you're much more aware of, or there, there's much more pressure because there's there's much more um, reprimand when you make mistakes. So there is that feeling constantly where you have to or you feel that you have to do things absolutely right there's no room for failure because everyone has a right to an opinion when it comes to your life and you see that a lot on the at dinner with the with the aunt with the aunt talking about uh what billy is doing oh yeah for sure billy's doing great over there in the u.s what are you doing billy are you, where's are you still playing the piano what's going on with that and so it's very I think that movie depicted that very well, those hardships of coming from a collectivist society. Although I 
did feel as well that they depicted the great parts of uh, collectivism in this with with regard to community and family and having that. What? No. What is it, honey? I can't. Like you are so annoying with the lighting. <laughs> so I, the movie also depicted the the beautiful side of collectivist societies, where. Uh, which is having that community to rely on. It is really, uh, it just feels really good to know that your family is always there and just, you know, you're never alone in life and you just, you know that you can, you have people to fall back on and people that actually really, truly love you. And, and so there is always that um, back and forth. I, I don't know. It, it's yeah. hard but at times it's a positive, at times it's a negative. Because yeah, at times, uh, a lot more individualistic cultures suffer from that feeling of, say, you're not able to get help, or maybe your parents are very busy working and everything, and you're kind of on your own. Yeah. But if you had more collectivist family situation, you could have grandparents, aunts, and uncles that could get you a job to get get you out of a rut, or they could they, you could get kind of that support. Uh, yeah, a lot as easier you transition at times through life, to to the different out. stages yeah. of life. Yeah, There's more people to give advice, more people with ex different experiences. You know, yeah, pros and cons. But then, yeah, it can also be that you're always under a magnifying glass. Yeah, and, and just yeah. So I don't remember what else we said. I really not forgot. Most of it. Yeah, I ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Ah. Perfect movie. Ah. I uh, I don't know if we if we captured the watching it in Mandarin. Watch the movie in Mandarin. Yeah. Yeah. As hard as it may be to use be focusing subtitles, on the subtitles. Or don't use subtitles. And then you can slowly <laughs> learn Mandarin. <that> <laughs> yeah. Still, I'm so tired. Still getting I'm used to the feeling of super glue on my fingertips. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, She's tired. Thank you so much for watching yes. our for the privilege of your time yeah <laughs> still that's from one. a movie <laughs> yeah goodbye sorry i'm too tired